What's going on? What's going on, YouTube? This is uh, Smithy Weston the Barber coming at you again with another uh, product review and um, a little tip um, on how to zero gap these. these this is not a um, zero gap tutorial or anything like that. It's just giving you uh, some advice on um, on properly uh, zero gapping them and what are the differences between the uh, compact the sterling definitions and the um, the uh, five star detailer which I don't have here but basically they're all the same this is a uh, wall compact um, it originally came with the standard blade this is just a wall standard blade and you can't even zero gap it these do not get zero gapped they can be zero gapped <laughs> um, so what you can do is you could go purchase <clears throat> you could go purchase a five star standard series uh, standard blade by wall and you can uh, put that uh, on your compact and these blades can be um, adjusted to zero if you look at mine carefully they're not a hundred percent zero gap okay I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend a hundred percent zero gapping these two liners this is why Andis and Wall are two different companies and they make two different blades. Um, the same principles that apply to zero gapping um, a, T, a T outliner don't apply to these. Okay, The same principles that apply to um, a Styliner 2, <laughs> they don't apply to these. These right here, you do not want to uh, zero gap them as close as you would a T outliner, a style liner to um, in that nature. You want to kind of keep it not as close. They actually work a little bit better, not close. If you try to zero gap these a hundred percent like how you would a um, T outliner or something like that what you're going to do is be cutting up your face and <laughs> you're going to be cutting up um, your clients you're going to be giving um, blade rash you're going to be um, the skin is going to start whelping you're going to make a lot of um, people um, irritated by the uh, by the blade um, once again um, this is another uh, five star uh, standard uh, serious blade on here um, and I just want to talk to you guys too about the differences. I don't have a wall five star detailer because I don't need it. These are basically the same thing. A wall compact and a sterling definitions is the exact same thing. If I had one sitting right here, it would be the exact same thing. The only thing that you would notice different is the packaging. That's it. Okay. Um, I like to go with the uh, sleek looking chrome looking this has a little outside sleek looking chrome body it's just more appealing to the eye I don't really like the red or the burgundy that comes with the uh, five star uh, detailer I prefer uh, these two um, bodies for it but um, yeah just keep that in mind that they are the exact same thing this was a little bit cheaper um, the uh, compact um, then the sterling definitions and I'm pretty sure the compact is probably cheaper than the um, the uh, wall uh, five star detailer uh, which is not shown here um, so again just be careful adjusting these blades and know that if you buy a compact it's gonna come with a standard blade that doesn't even say wall on there it's a standard little blade that cannot be zero gapped so what you do is you just go buy a wall five star standard uh, series blade 
and attach that on there or you can buy a um, TY blade and put it on there all wall blades are interchangeable even with their um, liners and their um, heavy duty clippers all the blades are interchangeable so again this is Smith Weston the Barber and this is another um, review on um, the difference between um, the sterling definitions and the wall compact which is not that much uh, difference um, and remember if you buy this it's going to come with a standard blade that you cannot adjust so go ahead and purchase a new blade so you can have it uh, zero gapped or a little bit closer um, if you're new with with this um, don't zero gap your blades fully have a little space in there so you won't be um, scarring people or, or cutting people or anything like that because if you leave a little bit of room whatever you can't fully get you can get more proficient with a straight razor and just use this to outline and um, and fully um, get it sharp with a uh, straight razor so just remember that it's better to have a tool a liner that's um, that's um, accurately um, gapped rather than having some that's over gapped and it's giving you crisp lines but it's also uh, cutting people or nicking people or giving them a skin irritation so just remember that uh, moving forward once again this is Smith Western Barber signing out